Not Martians, not Russians, but Santa, traveling by Sputnik, accompanied by Mutnik. Sputnik, space helmets, and Santa. Ah, oh, there's a jolly Christmas ahead for us all. Earth has had Santa Claus long enough. We will bring him to Mars. <laughs> we interrupt our program with a special bulletin. An unidentified object has been spotted in orbit around the Earth. Don't be afraid. We have children just like you on Mars. We're looking for one of your Santa Clauses. He's in his workshop up at the North Pole. Come along. Get him, Torg. What have we here? More toys? <laughs> Those are Martians. Santa Claus, you're coming with us. And Mrs. Santa Claus has positively identified the kidnappers as Martians. <laughs> Welcome, Santa Claus. We hope you'll make the children on Mars very happy. I'll try, dear lady. Oh, -ho, we meet again, eh? I don't know how you escape Shim, but you won't escape me. You're through. Goldar, why don't you uh, relax? You're going to relax permanently. <laughs> Goodbye, dear friends. Away! What do you want for Christmas? I would like a second set of hockey gear so Mr. Kestlew can fulfill his dream of playing in Arthur Bowden hockey. I would like world peace for Christmas. Time with my family. Visiting with my family. Uh, time with my family. What do I want for Christmas? I think money would be really good. Time with my kids, time with my family. I think that's pretty important. And the puppies. And puppies for everybody. I would like a million dollars, a series of Fortnite dance lessons, and world peace. No, no, make that a million dollars, world peace, and then a series of Fortnite dance lessons. Uh, sunshine and a warm sandy beach. 
I just want some time to relax with my kids. For everyone to pass the semester. I would like the word hubby to be permanently banned, as well as the font Comic Sans. I think I, think I want a new sports car. Mine's getting a little old. Yeah, I think a new sports car would be great. Um, I would love a weekend without my kids. Okay, I'm glad you asked. They have recently released these little South Park action sets. They're so cool. There's PC Principal, there's the three South Park characters in the classroom, and I think they're hilarious, and uh, they inspire me. So I would like to get any of those little South Park sets for Christmas. I want to stay in my pajamas all day long. <laughs> for Christmas, I want to spend the day with my family and eat lots of yummy food. What I would really enjoy for Christmas is if the captain of the senior girls basketball team, sorry, varsity girls basketball team, would bring back their jerseys on time. That's what I want for Christmas. You know, I think it's a, it's a very, it's a difficult question because, uh, you know, I, I feel like I'm at a point in my life where I don't really know what I want or what I need. Uh, I think what I'm really looking forward to is, uh, a couple of weeks off, uh, away from the the lunch hours in this room. I, I love them; they're great. Uh, you know, students come in, use the computers, uh, but it just basically turns into a giant meme, essentially. Uh, you know, in here every day at lunch, and uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to you know not hearing re uh, for two weeks. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, not seeing the floss. And, uh, and, and, and everything else that's going viral on YouTube. So um, that's what I think I'm, I'm looking at most forward to for Christmas. All right, here's the 411, folks. Say some gangsta is dissing your fly girl. You just give him one of these. Yes. Thank you so much. I love this balloon and I love Minnie Mouse. Thank you. Video? 
No, I got you a present for a video. No way. <laughs> Always wanted to record it. <laughs> There's one more. I want to learn the Titanic theme song. This is awesome. It's a slinky unicorn. It's so cool. And a balloon. <laughs> a great gift. It's like you know me your whole life. Ho ho hello! I know you've been waiting for this Kache TV video on Mother Goose. And here we go! So, we are playing Guess That Christmas Person <laughs> with Haley right here. Hi. So, who that boy? Bobby. Kevin. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, what is he from? Home Alone. <laughs> and that was Guess That Christmas Boy. Yeah. This is Who's That Boy. Okay, who's this boy? What if I don't know who that boy is? You can guess? Okay. I'm going to guess that that is your neighbor's grandson who escaped and was looking for a snowman. Good, good answer, but that's not the right answer. Oh, shoot. Do you know what he's from? Um, you know what? I don't offhand, but is it from uh, the Polar Express? Ding, ding, ding. <gasps> okay. And that was who that boy? Who that boy? I don't feel I'm bad. <clears throat> this is Who That Boy. So Mr. Who That Boy. I don't know. Arthur. Oh Arthur, ding ding ding. Arthur's Christmas? Yes. Two out of two. Thank you. So this is Who That Boy. So Cali, Who That Boy. Um Charlie Brown with his Charlie Brown. So, Aunt Rachel said he's willing to give you $200 towards it, what do you think? Ding, ding, ding! <laughs> this is who that boy. So, Zach, who that boy? Uh, isn't that buddy? No. Ding, ding, ding! Two out of two? So, this is who that boy. So, Zoe, who that boy? That's a girl. Well, who that girl? Lindsay From what movie? The Grinch. Ooh, that was one of our two. Good job. High five. Yeah. Cindy Lou Who. Oh. And this is Huda Boy. So Mr. Goodwin. Yes. Huda Boy. Oh, that's uh, Ebenezer Scrooge from Scrooge. D Scrooge. Isn't it? A Christmas Carol? Yeah. Yeah, two out of two. Ding ding. Yay. Thank you very much. I just want to take it. You see, the whole Christmas season's just stupid, stupid, stupid. Hello, dear. Oh, what is that? Where did you get the hair cut off that? Oh, can I touch it? Is it real hair? 
Hello, dear. Wow, this who's really grown in in her nose, aren't they? You're a lovely who. Hey, Malone. Are you set to dance? Set to dance. Ooh. Ah. Mmm. Ah. What do you think, everybody? Does it suit me? Yes, it's very festive, isn't it? What is that? Money no! That is not acceptable! Look at this! This is ridiculous! This has done it all! Nobody! And I mean nobody! Will be enjoying Christmas! Where did you get this? Can I try on your jacket? Thank you very much. It looks better than the stuff in here. Thank you, man. Let's see. Oh. oh, now that is it! Oh. Somebody's fabulous! <laughs> what are you doing this week? Regular Christmas? Yeah. You bought a lot of gifts? Oh, lots of Are you crazy? <laughs> or do you just have money to burn? They're obviously paying you too much. And look, you're clearly worth it. You do a lot. <laughs> oh man, I need a job like this. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go home and wallow in self pity. Hey, would you like to come with me? I'm going to steal Christmas. We're gonna be rich! And the rest of you are losers! Town full of losers! This one's a queen! I'm gonna treat her like a two!
It's November 1st, guys. It's Christmas time. Come on. Welcome! Get in here! It's time for a party! Let's go! You're late! Here, I brought some cookies. Those are crackers, not cookies. You have cookies. Oh, thank you. Kyle, have a cookie. I'm on a diet, Samantha. I can't have a cookie. Kyle, have a cookie. I can't have a cookie! Kyle, it's Christmas! Have a cookie! No! Ah! <laughs> Here you go. Merry Christmas. You're oh my favorite. Thank you. You're the best. Here you go. Here you go. Oh. Here you go. What the frick is this? You're so cute. I know. I love you more. I love you more. Well, I love you more. I love you more. I love you more. Mom, Dad, I want a unicorn for Christmas. Oh, that's so cute, sweetie. Oh, that's so cute, Zach. Except the Easter Bunny is a lie, Santa's a lie, the Two Fairies is a lie, your parents' marriage, equality, and happiness. Also, Santa Claus that you sat on his lap is an old, dusty, divorced, crusty man. Oh, it's so cute. Come on, just smile for Mommy. Smile for Mommy. It's okay, buddy. Santa loves you. Oh, he's so cute, honey. Oh, our son. He's such an angel. Mm. It's like living a storybook adventure beyond your wildest imagination. From the North Pole of Fantasyland comes a feature-length fable with the most enchanting characters in the whole wide world. Headed by the white-whiskered fellow who's the granddaddy of them all. Now, a magic motion picture transports you to an over-the-rainbow land, past the doors of Santa's towering castle, and the strange, mysterious, all-seeing eye, into a fantastic crystal laboratory filled with weird and wonderful secrets no one has ever seen before. You'll see them all, and you'll discover how Santa can watch every child on Earth and every good or bad thing they do. Now meet Merlin, the Wizard of Wizards, the Miracle Man of the Ages. Two for the show, away we go. Hurry, Mr. Merlin, this is no time to play horses. Come face to face with the devil himself, a mischievous demon determined to mess things up as much as he can. It's yours, nobody saw you take it, Lupita. They have more and they won't miss it. What does one little doll matter, don't you see? Leave it to that devilish trickster to sidetrack Santa up a tree. Watch the jolly hijinks of Santa Claus as he decides to fight fire with fire. Oh ho, a cannon! You won't want to miss the entertainment wonder of the ages. The treat of a lifetime for anyone who has ever believed there really is a Santa Claus. Donald's day, and Santa Claus hasn't come. Sleep now, darling. Sleep now and you will see. Maybe when you wake up, you'll find it, darling. You'll see more wonders than you can wave a wand at as a dazzling panorama unfolds before your startled eyes. Saturday and Sunday matinee only at a theater near you. 
You may enter. What is it, Bob? I am very busy. The students watched a movie in class, and now it's absolute chaos. The students think they are here to have fun, and we can't have that. They're here to learn. I knew I shouldn't have allowed them to enjoy film in the Second World War. It was too much for them for them to handle. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, but it's three, so I'll be going home now. If there's anything you need, just let me know. No, you're free to go. I'll see you in the morning. But, sir, tomorrow's Christmas. And? But, sir, I was hoping to have the day off to spend time with my family. I see. I suppose you have the day off. But be here extra early the day after. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, and Merry Christmas, Mr. Bowden. Bah humbug. Who's there? You are trespassing. I demand you leave at once. Ugh, wait, Johnny? Giant Silt? How are you here? I heard you died years ago. What's going on? Are the students breaking me? This is all very real, Mr. Voden. I'm here to talk to you, to help you see where you went wrong. You see, you made me hate school so much that I could never do anything that involved learning. That's why I died. I could only become a chimney sweep until I plunged to my death on the roof of Parkside. These chains are made from the guilt you should feel. They shall trap you in death as surely as you chain your students to their deaths, never giving them a break, never allowing a smile to graze their faces. Mr. Voden, you will be visited by Three spirits. Heed what they say. Wait, what do you mean? Johnny? That's it. Mission accomplished. Since I've done it, I'm insane. Officially. Who are you? What do you want? If you leave now, I won't call the police. Arthur Bowden, I am the ghost of Christmas past. I am here to show you the error of your past so you might better understand how you came to be today. I'll be taking you on a journey through your memories. Now come along. Madame, I don't even know you. We best be going. You still have two more visits after myself. Are you crazy? I'm not going anywhere with you. Now, Arthur! All right. Where are we? We are in one of your happiest yet most forgotten memories. And what memory is that? Watch and find out. Good morning, students. Today we will be having class outside. We will be using newly acquired knowledge to calculate the parabola of a snowball. So get your coats and I will meet you outside. Alright class, listen up. I am now going to teach you a very valuable life lesson. If you can't be him, you might as well join him. SNOWBALL FIGHT! What a wonderful day that was. Yes, Arthur. This day is one of joy and fun. It is your happiest memory. But we cannot stay. We must head to the memory that changed everything. Please, Spirit, a little longer. I'm afraid not. Now come along. Oh, Mr. Superintendent, are you to tell me about my funding? No funding in the budget right now for extracurriculars or sports. But, sir, field trips and athletics are an important part of expanding young minds. We're not here to expand young minds, we're here to teach the basics, math and science. But, but sir... No buts, Arthur. You need to toe the line. You need to teach these kids the right way or this school will be shut down. Now, Spirit, why are you showing me such things? These memories are yours. They are what they are, don't blame me. Who's there? Come out and know me better, man. And who are you? I am the ghost of Christmas present, you silly little man. I am here to show you how your students perceive you. I shall allow you to see yourself through the eyes of others. Well, let's get this show on the road, spirit. Mom, please don't make me go. You don't know what it's like. School's stupid. I hate it! I hate school! I hate it! I hate it! I hate it! What? I thought Jenny likes school. 
She's a good quiet student who does all her work. Do the others share her thoughts? Yes. Show me, spirit. I'm afraid my time grows short. I must leave you now. Ah! So you're the spirit that shows me the next coming Christmases? All right, spirit, show me kindness. You are the one I fear the most. Thank God he's finally gone. <laughs> I thought he'd never die. Maybe now school will actually be fun. And since it's fun and we like it, maybe we'll actually learn something. Who is it that these students are talking ill about, Spirit? Who do they dislike so much that they'd speak ill even after their passing? Welcome to your future. Ah! Why, O Spectre? This can't be my life. To die and not have anyone mourn me? To have no one care? Please, Spirit, don't show me such horrid things. Show me a better future. I'm not dead. The Spirits, those apparitions, they did it all in one night. It's Christmas Day. I haven't missed it. But can I change my future? How? That's it. I can do that. That will be my salvation. I can't believe we have assembly today. It's Christmas. I know. It's probably just another assembly so you can yell at us about being terrible students. Silence! Now that I have your attention, I bet you're all wondering why I called you here today. Well, I'm here to say how absolutely disappointed I am. With myself. Wait, what? Yes, I'm sure y'all know I haven't been a good principal these past few years. I've been so caught up with making sure y'all learn that I brought that school is supposed to be enjoyable and interactive. So that's why I'm here to apologize and reassure you that from here on things will be different. So to kick off the new me, I've decided to give y'all a week off of school. I hope y'all will be excited to return and see what's see the school for how I originally intended for it to be. It'll be a place to not only expand the mind, but expand the soul to help you find your very passion in life. With that being said, I hope you enjoy your time off and I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. I've had it with Christmas and these kids. They don't believe anymore. They don't care anymore. It seems like every year more and more kids stop believing that me, the person walking around on your screen, doesn't exist. And then they still want things. Dang, kids. Santa! 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 Hey Vikings! For this year's Staff Skit, we're going to play a little interactive game called Name That Holiday Movie. You're going to see a clip of a staff member saying a line from a very famous holiday movie, and it's your job to figure out which one. After the clip, shout out your answer. Enjoy! I'm gonna hold you, close. Make sure that you, you stink. You smell like beef and cheese. You don't smell like Santa. Are you serious, Clark? I made my family disappear!
keep the change, you filthy animal. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is to sing loud for all to hear. Look, Daddy, teacher says every time a bell rings, an angel gets her wings. I've planned out our whole day. First we'll make snow angels for two hours, and then we'll go ice skating, and then we'll eat a whole roll of Toll House cookie dough as fast as we can, and then we'll snow. Triple dog dare ya. Everything changed to all I need. I just like to smile. Smiling's my favorite. Oh, Christmas isn't just a day, it's a frame of mind. At one time, most of my friends could hear the bell. Perhaps Christmas doesn't come from a store. Perhaps Christmas means a little bit more. There's children throwing snowballs instead of throwing heads. They're busy building toys and absolutely no one's dead. Come out to the coast. We'll get together. Have a few laughs. If I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. When I wake up, I'm getting a CAT scan! Where do you think you're going? Nobody's leaving. Nobody's walking out on this fun, old-fashioned family Christmas. Yeah. 
Strange, isn't it? Each man's life touches so many other lives. When he isn't around, he leaves an awful hole, doesn't he? It's not going in our yard, Russ. It's going in our living room. Let's say I'm just doing it for an old pal in the yard. Bah humbug. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spreading so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow. Not too hot, extra chocolate, shaken, not stirred. I should be playing in the winter snow, but I'ma be under the mistletoe. It is required of every man that the spirit within him should walk abroad among his fellow men and travel far and wide. And if that spirit goes not forth in life, it is condemned to do so after death. It is doomed to wander through the world and witness what it cannot share, but might have shared on earth, and turn to happiness. Here we only got one rule, never ever let it cool. Keep it cooking in the pot, now we got hot chocolate. But Martha May will be there. Oh, she will, will she? And she'll see me, a winner. She'll be on me like fetal flies on a flat-faced flugel horse. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, Martha, baby, but the G-Train has left the station. It's the most beautiful time of the year. Lights fill the streets, spend so much cheer. I should be playing in the winter snow. But I will be under the mistletoe. Happy birthday! But I can't stop staring at your face. Wave. This is my island in the sun. Can I refill your eggnog? Get you something to eat? Drive you out in the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead? From what I see now, that will cut through the murkiest storm they can dish up. What I'm trying to say is... Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. A jingle bell swing and jingle bells ring. Snowing and blowing, a bushels of fun. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Ho, ho, ho. A jingle bell's chime and jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in Jingle Bell Square In the frosty air What a bright sign It's the right time No one gets an unwrapped Christmas present on my watch time is a swell time To go gliding in a one-horse sleigh Giddy up, jingle horse, pick up your feet A jingle around the clock It's a major award. Look. It says Fragile. It must be Italian.
put that cookie down now. You're skipping Christmas? Isn't that against the law? She's a fun. Now the jingle hop has begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bells chiming, jingle bell time. Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square. The fog is as thick as peanut butter. Yippee ki yay, melon farmer. Pick up your feet, jingle around the clock. A mix and a mingle and a jingle and beat. That's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell, that's the jingle bell. He puzzled and puzzled till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe, he thought, Christmas doesn't come from a store. Maybe. Just maybe, it's something more. I was, I was a captain of industry, feared by men, adored by women. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen a talking snowman before? I want an official Red Rider carbon action 200 shot range model BB gun. There was more than one lobster present at the birth of Jesus. Calm down, you've been drinking Cokes all day. I never thought it was such a bad tree. It's not bad at all, really. Maybe it just needs a little love. Kevin! But the elf speaking, what's your favorite color?